um, here we are. Here Welcome. we are again. Here we are again. Welcome to Next Level from uh, Level with Emily. I'm Emily. I'm having issues right now. Um, but uh, it's all good. And I can hear myself now. Oh, God. Technology is really pissing me off right now. Let's just say <laughs> that I am not pleased with any of it. Um, but we're good. Um, I host the show Level with Emily. We interview uh, composers and other people who make audio and games. And Sam, hi Sam, is the producer. And uh, we just come here once a week usually to let you know what episode is coming up. And this, uh, you know, I, I guess I feel like I always say this one's interesting. Um, <laughs> and they always are. But this one, the, the twist I think in this one... Um, not like a movie mystery twist, but like, you know, a little garnish on your cocktail twist is that it's a composer uh, studio. It's an audio studio. So they do all mm -hmm. kinds of audio projects. And uh, this game was the music was made by a team, which is cool and fun to talk about. But uh, it's called Let's Revolution. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But before we get there, I just want to say hi and see how you're doing today. <laughs> I'm doing good today. Good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's a hot one out there. Have you been outside yet today? Uh, no, but I shut, shut up the place. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Turn the cool. air on. Just in time for it to be a very cool one again tomorrow. But yeah, we've got, it's, you know, whatever it is, what it is. It's sunny, sunny, which is good. Mm. Um, so yeah. So this game, it's a, like a, uh, minesweeper esque roguelite. And it is, uh, from a studio called Buck. Mm -hmm. And uh, the the audio studio, so that was the developer, Buck, the audio studio is called Ant Food. And I spoke with one of the composers, Wilson Brown. And so that's uh, who our chat is is with. And um, I, I love the soundtrack. It's really chill and, and fun. And I liked talking to Wilson about that, obviously, mm -hmm. but also like what it's right, like to write with a team. So um, what did you think? Yeah, I think I think that team aspect is really interesting, and and um, you had told me about that uh, before I listened yeah. to much of the music, which um, was interesting listening to it with that in mind. Um, yeah, because yeah, working with the team on a composition is that's a weird thing to do sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean bands do it in garages and stuff, but uh, but like in that yeah. capacity, that's kind of fun. I and you know. There's been all sorts of fun collaborations now that it's easy to pass stuff around, but um, but uh, yeah. that's a neat approach, and I like that aspect yeah. of it. Yeah, I was, you know, quite honestly impressed and surprised, really, with that many people working on it, how cohesive it was, and how I just really enjoyed, like, all of it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. It can be so difficult to, like, make something like that consistent across a whole game and to have a flavor i think but i just think they did a really good job with it and it's a really enjoyable soundtrack to to hear so uh um, yeah and 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 um you know i if they're an audio studio like i, I don't know yeah. um how much of like if, if there's people with certain strengths in the music melody side and other people with strengths in the sonic side and, and or whatever sure. or, or if they all built their own like pieces because the one thing that um, was really nice about this music is the percussion. Yeah. It's really chill. Yeah. It's really like a lot of pops and blips yeah. and, and like wood blocky type things and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, and that gives it a really nice palette over, you know, over all the tunes. You know, they most mm -hmm. of them have that kind of percussion and stuff. And then it's like nice soft synths and and chill loops and stuff and yeah 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 wilson is a percussionist so he's he's a collector of instruments in that way um mm -hmm. sorry just checking the twins score <laughs> <laughs> is it like looking down at my watch like oh shit the tigers just scored again um okay <laughs> it's all good <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's listen to some of it because, um, because yeah, I agree. The percussion is great in the soundtrack and it's one of the mm. things I really enjoyed, especially in 
um, well, I couldn't even, there are a lot of tracks, so I like the percussion, but one of my favorites is called The Woodlords. So okay, let's yeah. listen to, uh, to, that, to that track. All the high frequencies I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a lot of yeah. with the shaker and the and the high end stuff. There is all kind of combining. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like all all percussion, you know, like the yeah. little, you can hear the little thumb piano and even the piano itself just kind of comes yeah. in for some boom, boom. And yeah. uh, everything just is quica. all rhythm and yeah. yeah, tons of yeah, yeah, all kinds of stuff. The um, I can't remember the name of it. It's not a vibra slap, but um, <laughs> it is an instrument that you hit and it makes a really high metallic dwing kind of mm. sound. I can't remember what those are called, but I heard that in there. Yeah, it's tons of Whiz -bang. basically like south american and latin american percussion yeah and all kinds of yeah. cool, cool stuff probably african stuff in there as well but right um, and but that, yeah that... i just i loved that i loved the idea i'm so sorry but i loved the idea of how you don't even have to have music like that up very loud mm -hmm. you just hear it because the way the frequencies are coming off of all of the struck percussion right because mm -hmm. it's even even the low stuff like the marimbas have such a wooden high frequency sound to them that I just love how it can just be kind of like floating off in the background as you're playing this puzzle game. Right. I just thought that was cool. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's, I, yeah. I was going to say something very similar when I, when I was listening to it, it's like the, you know, you just want to let it go because it just right. adds this nice, like uh, soft thing in the air. <laughs> yes. And yeah, it's because yes. it's, you know, it's a lot of percussion, which which could be sound really like busy and annoying, but it, it's it's also soft that yep. it doesn't sounds real nice. Right. And each instrument isn't busy. Each one has right. its own little piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, Interesting arrangements. I I'd, um, I don't know how much you got into it in the episode uh, or in the interview um, about the details of who did what in the team yeah but, uh, you know I'm what's curious. weird is that anytime i've ever talked to groups of composers whether it's two people or four people which this was i think four and then at times assistance from a fifth mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but also even just in different countries like it was they have studios in four places in the world la new york but then also i think sao paulo brazil and Oh, God, Amsterdam. He says it. He says it in the episode. So if I get it wrong here, you'll hear the correct thing in the episode. But, um, sure. <laughs> but you know, it was like the Amsterdam studio and the New York studio that did it. And then I think a fifth guy in Brazil or, mm. or a woman, I'm not sure. But um, he names everyone, too, in there. But, but my point being is that they're always cryptic about that kind of shit. And it's funny to me. Um, and I, I'm not sure why, but but it's like they don't want to say oh i do the melodies and he does the percussion or yeah know, she does the percussion or, or mm. whatever i i it's hard to kind and maybe i think there are many reasons that could be the case but i think mm -hmm. one reason is that they really are doing a little bit of everything so it it might be difficult because i tried to be like where do you even start you know right. and and he's yeah. like well, basically someone just sketches something up and then we just add or make recommendations to subtract from mm -hmm, it you know mm -hmm. so, yeah i guess um, that yeah, makes sense I mean, you know you know and, and i don't think he's being dishonest by by not being more specific but it's mm -hmm. just it's an interesting thing it's it's different than a band sitting in a garage right because you're sitting on drums 
they're sitting on guitar, they're on bass, and that person's on keys. And right. so they're like, you know, less likely to influence anyone other than themselves. Well, mm-hmm. not, in, not, not influence. You know what I'm saying, though. I know what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you, 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 everybody's influencing each other, but you, you're just yeah. controlling yeah. one piece, not like passing around the whole arrangement, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's interesting because you've done a ton of that through your whole life. You've done all kinds of collaborative artistic projects, not just music, mm-hmm. right? Because you're such a yeah. good artist, too. But it's like it's like musically. I'm sure you've been in. I'm, I know you've got a million stories, but like. Talk about some of those. I mean, you don't have to give details and names because I might know some of these people, but it's like <laughs> it's like, you know, when you disagree mm-hmm. and you've had things break down, I know for sure. And sure. I mean, over know, the course of the years, you, you know, and yeah, everybody's drinking. But yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what's what's that like as a as a musician for you when you create, you know, like that? Uh, Well, I I don't know. I've, I've been through different phases myself. I used to get more controlling back in the day when I had my own little band playing my songs and stuff. Um, I mean, not really bad or anything, but I was definitely yeah. more opinionated than I would be nowadays, you know, nowadays I just like to share my opinion. If other people have strong opinions, I'm like, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I have to have a pretty strong opinion to, to fight for it actually, yeah. but um, yeah, that's true. But that's, you know, because part of that's part of the fun of collaborating. If somebody yeah. has like a strong idea, then, then, you know, that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, all sorts of breakdowns. I remember one time in this one band, uh, a couple of the guys in the band didn't get along too well. And, and, um, one of them again, won't name names or whatever, but was really pissed and he took off his guitar like really fast. And we were in this tiny little basement and he banged the headstock up on the ceiling and broke his guitar. Oh, and, uh, God. Wow. I think he just threw it on the ground and like stormed off or something like yeah. that. But it was, you know, yeah, it, it was like a whole thing. And, and uh, yeah, that band didn't last too much longer after that. But oh, <laughs> man, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't think these people went through anything like that. <laughs> yeah, probably all. not. Probably <laughs> not. But he did. He did talk about that, you know, just how, you know, you do encounter differing opinions sometimes. And um, mm-hmm. You know, I think your strategy, Sam, is certainly good. Well, yeah, sure, let's go with that. You know, I mean, I actually just went through that in um, the radio show that I edit. And the producer, the other producer didn't hear the person, uh, the host, say what I heard them say. Mm-hmm. And to him, that person, the, the host was getting cut off. And I'm like, well, that's not what's happening. But he couldn't unhear it. And he, mm-hmm. kept thinking, you know, and so he's like, and instead of me being like, no, you're not hearing it right. I'm just like, yeah, I'll fix it. You know, it's just like, right. yeah, I'll fix right. it. I'll just fix yeah. It. Yeah. Why? What? It's not worth that, you know? No, it's exactly. Like, silly. But exactly. you know, we're not even making a song or anything, you know, but, yeah. um, <laughs> but, you know, we are making something to communicate to an audience. Right. Mm-hmm. So you want mm-hmm. people to understand. And yeah, I don't know. So I think the, uh, the, the big thing with collaborating is that it works best when everybody's willing to share their opinions and willing to hear other people out and try and find the perspectives they're coming from and stuff like that. Cause it's really easy to get myopic about if you're hearing something one way, it's like, no, it goes like this, God damn it. But uh, yeah, you know, yeah. somebody else might be hearing a bigger picture part of it and be like oh well that part is repeating too much and so why don't we change it up blah blah you know sam keenan that is such an excellent metaphor for life yeah it really is isn't it it really is like (laughs) share your opinion and be willing to hear someone else's yeah but that's kind of what it comes down to that's how you collaborate in general (laughs) yeah yeah that's about just in anything ever yeah 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 and be nice to each other too when you're doing those things that's also good. That's our life lesson here from Level today. Yeah, I guess Bye. so, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've only listened to one track from this, this game. Yeah, let's listen to another By the one. way, people love the game. And you and I had an interesting discussion about how it looks visually. And mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it's lovely. I love the colors. I love the art, all of that. Yeah. So, um, and 
one of the new things we've been doing before we do get on to music this is really cool uh sam has been drawing the logo into the game each week so and then we're posting that on our socials so yeah i'm just making a little cartoon poster uh you know yep. putting putting our little f fella from our logo for yeah. uh the show and in, yeah in, into the games themselves or yeah. something related um and you did this one and i love it i can't wait to share it but that doesn't happen till monday so oh. <laughs> um yeah but uh yeah. but it, it's it's a really cool game people love it again minesweeper-esque roguelite puzzler right so uh not a ton of action but there is a story and mm -hmm. stuff and just really great chill music uh and let's listen to a uh, little bit of Aquila. This is one of my favorites. We'll listen for oh, a bit. I, and then I, wrote, might I wrote that one down too. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, oh, I'm interested to see what you think of it, what, what you like about it. Sorry. <laughs> I love those keyboard samples. Dude. Mm -hmm. I yep. love that. That shit is so nostalgic for me. And I, I really liked how they made um, those things sound the way that they kind of crackled things up and broke stuff yes. and, and everything was just yep. really pleasant and good in that one. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's Aquila or Aquila. Not really sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, I loved, love, love, love that. He talks about exactly that. Uh, which I which I like. Okay. Um, yeah. Did you yeah, write not, any others down? What else did you write? Uh, the only I only the only other one I wrote down was crowns and loafers. Oh yes, yes. All right. Here's a little bit of crowns and loafers. Yeah. Yeah. These ones where they where uh, they added that the thumping kick drum. You know, to, to um, I just I liked that uh, being brought into besides just the, all the higher end percussion. You know. Yep. fun score yeah really fun score yeah yes neat neat stuff mm -hmm. so that's our episode this friday uh oh. and i do work again so hopefully i'll get that posted before i go okay. to work. should be able to um and yeah look forward to sharing that with you next week next week because well every week upcoming is exciting i did just also i want to mention had an awesome uh, interview with McLean Deemer about the new Guild Wars 2 expansion, which comes out awesome. on the 22nd of August. That's when the expansion comes out. My interview with him won't come out until September 22nd, but um, but uh, it's it's beautiful, full orchestra, like mm -hmm. so different than the last score, which was called End of Dragons. That was the last Guild Wars expansion. And that was the one where they had all the Korean instruments and used a bunch of synths and stuff. And I Which, by the way, uh, I don't know what number episode that is, but um, 
but I guess you could just search his name and find it. But uh, I would just yeah. recommend that one highly to people. That was a great oh, episode. It's such a great episode. End of Dragons, Emily Reese. <laughs> 164. <laughs> oh, when that there you was. go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great. Oh, God. Learned so much about that. Um, and mm -hmm. this one literally basically just quote unquote just orchestra um he had no time to write the music and it's just great it's fantastic so i, I look forward <laughs> to talking about that and sharing cool. info about that but it's going to be like five or six weeks before we get to it but yeah 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 what's what's next week after this next week is say? aliens no oh, i can say right. it's yeah. it's an aliens um is it like an RTS? Now I can't see. I mean, I do these interviews and then I'm just on to the next thing in my brain. Let me yeah, look at what, yeah. Uh, it's called it's Aliens to... Dark Descent, I think. Or is that the one Austin did? No, Austin did. A... Anyway, it's Doyle Donahue <laughs> who does war. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> no. We'll talk about him next week. <laughs> but yeah, it's it was fun. It was awesome because he's a huge Aliens fan. Okay. And uh, and so that was that was cool. It's yeah, Aliens Alien Dark Descent. Yeah, I just yeah. looked it up too. Yeah, okay. Aliens Dark yep. Descent. That's yeah. that's what it is. Um. So so yeah, super different than what we've been listening to because of course, Aliens is very. Um, I don't think atonal is the right word. I think it's usually kind of tonal but i mm. i just i'm looking forward to it that that's that's gonna be fun yeah yeah it'll be good it'll be good all right well on that note check out this friday's episode featuring wilson brown from the audio studio ant food about the game let's revolution which has been doing quite well and i uh, look forward to sharing it with you and we'll be back here next week to talk about aliens and a little bit about warhammer um from Doyle Donahue. So sweet. Yep. Check us out on Discord. That link is down in the show notes. We're kind of close to monetization here on YouTube. So, you know, feel free to watch as much content as possible to get us <laughs> over that hump. That'd be awesome. Um, we These can... next levels are really good if you watch them all in a row. All of them. Just watch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be back next week. <laughs>